as of the 1st of January, Romania and Bulgaria gained full accession to the rest of Europe, a date that the United Kingdom's Independence Party highlighted as the day that 29 million Eastern Europeans could walk on British soil. And as the new year has come and gone, the immigration debate rages on in England. But instead of 29 million Eastern Europeans turning up at the British border, the Romanian embassy says that less than 30 have showed up. I met with MEP Helmer of the UK Independence Party, or UKIP, and asked him if their failed forecast negates their immigration policy. Not at all. The last major enlargement, the government told us we would have 13,000 people coming. We had half a million. I don't think you can base a decision on a few days in, in the height of the media storm. Uh, we're looking here at an ongoing process. We have suggested that there should be a moratorium on welfare payments for new immigrants for a period of five years. Uh, the point is that we welcome immigrants, we are a country of immigrants, but we believe that we must have reasonable numbers that can be managed within our available social services and social infrastructure. That five-year benefits ban, as suggested by UKIP, has caused a big stir in UK's immigration debate. I asked British Conservative MEP Saj Karim what he made of the benefits ban. Well, I'm not entirely clear that that is what they did call for. What they called for in the first instance was a five-year ban on any person entering the United Kingdom other than with a work permit. And then that position seems to have moved on and changed from there. Look, this is a highly populist, emotive uh, way of approaching that part of the British electorate that is currently under huge economic pressures at this moment in time. It's a thoroughly irresponsible way of dealing with a nation. It's quite clear that without our borders being open to allow people with skills, with something to contribute, those entrepreneurs who want to come to the United Kingdom to come with their ideas and develop those ideas, without all of that, frankly, our economy would suffer. MEP Kareem may disagree with UKIP's policies, but members of his Conservative Party, such as Home Secretary Theresa May, have also criticised the free movement of the EU. Something Saj Karim says is a personal opinion and not the official party's position. But EU Commission Vice President Vivian Redding isn't convinced. Her following comments were made on an online Google debate. Uh, coming back to the subjects uh, which the government of the UK has pushed to the agenda, probably in order uh, not to make people speak about uh, the real subjects in the UK, are uh, this uh, supposed invasion uh, of uh, foreigners uh, coming uh, to the UK and those who take uh, out of the social security are more the nationals, much more the nationals uh, than uh, the European uh, citizens who take advantage of the free movement. So it is um, uh, just a myth uh, to speak about an invasion. There's no doubt that the immigration policy debate is a hot topic to take on, but the European Union insists that the British attitude towards the subject is very much based on the populism, scaremongering and scapegoating. The problem therein lies that the more politicians buy into that attitude, the more skewed the facts become in Britain, a scenario that has many Eurocrats here in Brussels very worried. This is Bjarke Smith-Meyer for JN1 at the European Parliament in Brussels.